<clears throat> Hello, this is Dean Phoenix, back with my Final Fantasy X playthrough. Uh, being overpowered on the Expert Sphere Grid. Now, we just did a bit of levelling here because it's such a fantastic spot to grind in. And it's got about 15 or 16 S levels for everybody in about 30 or 40 minutes. So, that being said, everything really good there. We're just going to uh, get everybody ready. And uh, we're just going to start off with Tidus and Orin because they have haste, so they'll be able to cast it. And then Riku is just going to sit here waiting until she can get Flare when I get a level 3 key sphere. I'm going to go from there. So, um, yeah, I don't remember how you fight Seymour properly because, to be perfectly honest, I'm always super OP by this point anyway. Because that's just the way that I play the games. So, I'm going to get everybody a turn and then go from there. Might get Lua turn as well, I suppose. Ah, it changes up who you've got starting anyway, so first things first. You just detect the first few turns. Get that steel in as well. It is good to see you again. I'll only be pleased Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. So I'm just going to uh, get everybody hasted, just so that the fight can go as quickly as possible. And he does a reasonable amount of damage there, but nothing major. Well, that's rude. How rude indeed. Anyway, so um, on my game, Yuna doesn't really have a lot of the white magic spells um, because she is more of my black mage. Uh, but Kimari does, so we've got Kimari and uh, obviously we'll just get everybody a um, couple of turns in here. Orin already hasted. We'll just get everything moving like that. So once everybody gets a turn, Then I'll just be able to uh, sub them out and everything else. Uh, Orin's actually had his turn already, so he can come out. Um, I'll get Riku and everybody turns in a minute. I'm just going to set up Reflect first of all. So uh, Tidus has had his haste removed as well. I remember now. So Desperado gets rid of that as well. Now, what have we got? Lunar Curtain, Light Curtain, where are we at? Uh, we don't have any Star Curtains, which are the Reflect ones, unfortunately. So, I'll in fact just deal with the... Uh, Riku. And then it'll be about time for us to... Uh, start healing up. So... Get Riku a turn there, just so she can come out. And then we'll start doing some actual damage. Now. Let's get Waka to switch that up first. It is quite funny when... Um, you get that there. And it reflects everything, so Reflect is good for using in this fight. Let's see how much attack reels does. Ah, damn. That would have done a lot more if I hadn't missed the two hits. But, yep, never mind. We'll deal with that. Still does a lot, and then Mortiotis is going to do that and draw a load of HP from him again, which is always funny. Oh, that's rude. Okay, so we can raise Tidus' strength. And then we'll just get Reflect on Tidus as well, and that should be everybody having a turn. Mm, 
and just see how many uh, slice and dice hits we get on S actual Seymour himself. I think he's dead, actually. That's overkilled. Yeah. So yeah, we don't mess about with bosses. If we've got overdrives, we'll just use overdrives. Makes them go a little quicker. Which guarantees the overkill. I think he's got about 32k HP, so... Yeah, he got absolutely trounced then, so... Some level two key spheres, which are always good. We escaped with our. I could yeah, already yeah, yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like I should, but nothing came. Okay. Okay. So we've got cool little cutscenes coming up. Well, just get through those. We will have All clear. Good, good. You know. Said you wanted to be alone. Oh, of course. All good. Right now, if I remember correctly, this gets us to the calm lands as well, which is cool. Uh, what you will do. That's what you want. Well, if Uni really, well, I guess I should. That's what I think. Yuna's off. Yeah. Yeah. Kamari's with her. Must be tough. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. All right. We leave it. We should. Can I actually get this safe here then or not? Uh, don't look like You're it. Badly. Anyway, don't actually know which way I'm going to be honest. Nope, not that way. Use your words, blue man. Anyway, we got this nice little lovely dovey scene. Oh, really not in the goddamn mood for this. Anyway, apologies for the blasphemy. Um, so we just got to watch this. Did you really? I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. Nope, afraid not. Chicken. I've been trying so hard. Oh, again, we are left to lament the lack of skip cutscene option. So anyway, I'm just going to talk over this for the most part. Or maybe I'll just let it rock. But we've got that extreme strength already with Kimari, Waka, Orin and Tidus. Um, Riku is our fifth character. Not really be using Kimari very much apart from the odd situational thing like that reflect there. Um, and we're going to get my Master Thief armor from the Remium Temple. That'll be the first thing we do in the Kalmans is get the Chocobo and then Remium Temple after that, so um, yeah, we've got to go with that. It's just, and then after this, you know, all those things I said. Yeah, you were a bit insensitive, like, mate. Let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkind. Mhm. Mm I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess. You insensitive jerk. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we've got to carry on. Working around the sphere grid and stuff like that. Riku's just already got 7s levels. She's just waiting there to get flare. Once she gets flare, I'll use a black magic sad. sphere on that. So Yuna can have it. And then Yuna will go to double cast, happy. which is awesome. Why? Why were you happy? And then I'll probably just try and get Riku some of the white magics or something like that. She'll make her way down to Bribe because that's where her grid naturally goes. Um, but basically, it's just straight through to the end now. There's no grinding I need to do. Yeah. There's just capturing that I'll do in the calm lands. Uh, yeah, capturing in the calm lands. The pilgrimage? And yeah. after that, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Forget all about so, um, what we'll need to do I'm is we've summer. got to do the calm lands. I'll do the Remy and Temple, all. get the um, treasures from that. You know, and you want at least life. the three post and four post treasures, now, you know, which are, are the pendulums for putting Master Thief on an armor uh, and the wings to discovery which will let you do trio 999 trio of 999 by mixing two together which is pretty awesome because we don't need break hp limit in this playthrough because this is just going to be a 9999 hp playthrough so basically if you wanted to then i can choose any of the bosses using trio of 999 which is like amazing uh, ridiculous limit break she'd be with you and then 
uh, after we've done that, there isn't a lot else that we'd really have to do. Um, you just have to get through the story. There's a couple of tough bosses at the end of the story. Capture as we go. Um, so you capture everything on Gagazette as you go up. And then you don't have to go back there afterwards, which is cool. And then after everything there, um, basically you get to the end game then because you don't have to go in sin right away. Uh, and then I'll be doing the capturing and getting the celestial weapons and things like that. So really, really love the end game of Final Fantasy X. I don't know why, I just, I really enjoy it. And um, yeah, I would just really enjoy it. Um, it's really good. Are you going to Zanakind anyway? Dumbass. Anyway. How? How would you get there? Anyway, so yeah, that's what we've got to do next. So we'll get to the calm ones yeah. and um, we'll we sort there. out the uh, chocobos yeah, so that we can ride chocobos. We're going to open yeah. the weapon arena. We'll that's really place. important. And then we'll do a uh, Remiem temple as well. That's right. Your apes would so once yeah. I get... Uh -huh. all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I cheer and why are they having these conversations? Like, cheer anymore. <laughs> right on. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, why don't the clothes get wet? That's really weird. Well. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, just gotta get through this. Uh -huh. <laughs> no problem. Zanarkin never sleeps. Uh huh. Tons of fun. Anyway, anyway, so go I'm just gotta wait sea. for this and then get through it. Before the sunrise. <laughs> the city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. Mm. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. First in the sea. It's really... Anyway, so, we just gotta wait for this to it come on. brighter and brighter. Taking its sweet time. And the sound does seem to be coming through correctly. Good, good. Anyway, so basically, just got to get through this bit. So you just gonna have to bear with me, have a little bit of patience. So what else can I do? What can I talk about whilst this goes on? So, is she crying? Oh, poor baby. So. The main things is getting the capture weapons from the calm ones. So I'll put first strike on Tidus's, um, so I need a return sphere for that, which I'll be able to get from Chimera Geist, so that's fine. Um, and then I'll probably want initiative on one of them. Not going to get stone strike or death strike, they're annoying. They waste your overkills and stuff like that. And you don't really need them anyway when you can hit as hard as I can with these ones. And then maybe put piercing on one. I don't normally do that, but you could.